All right, guys, welcome back to Death Toll Racing. We are working on clutch pedal stuff for our five-speed swap in our 2010 Crown Vic twin turbo build. Um, okay, so this is the pedal assembly out of it. It has the pedal height adjuster thingy on it. Um, that doesn't work. Uh, most guys put an older pedal assembly in for doing this. It makes things a lot simpler. I don't have one, couldn't find one, so we're going to be modifying this one, and we will make it work one way or another. Um, this is the pedal assembly out of a Mustang. So this is out of a 2000, this is out of a 2000, I believe it was, um, and it is the same, I think, from 96, 2004, um, but they're the cable-style clutch uh, system. Um, the only thing I believe I'm going to be using out of this is just the clutch pedal and the tube. Um, the rest of it I'm going to get rid of, uh, and I'll come up with my own way of mounting it onto this other clutch pedal assembly. And then we are converting from cable to hydraulic. Um, so this is actually going to be a pretty clever style. Um, I decided to do it this way. Uh, this is just a kit for converting um, a Mustang uh, a to, to cable, or to hydraulic, I mean, from cable to hydraulic. Um, so this is, this is the complete kit. Uh, this should work out pretty good. Um, I like it because it's really small. So I was hoping that this would clear our, uh, since our master cylinder booster is quite a bit bigger than a Mustang's, uh, I was hoping that that would give us a little uh, better chance of making it work um, with that thing. So anyway, I'm just gonna do it um, because I, I honestly don't know if I told you everything I was gonna do would probably be wrong. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing it. And when I'm done, I'll show you what I did. All right, guys, so here it is. Um, it's really hard to not start rambling because there's so much stuff going on. Um, the, pe the pads, when I cut this pad off, I'm probably gonna cut this pad off. I'm gonna shift that one up. I'm gonna shift this one down. Um, and, and there'll be this one, this arm goes all the way to the bottom here. Um, so when I put the pad off the brake pedal on, I'll fudge it down and then I'm gonna fudge this one. I'll cut this one off and I'll fudge this one up. So that's probably what's gonna happen. Um, but I'm gonna get a little bit farther along before I start committing to any of that. Um, I put it in the car, everything works. We have clearance here. So in our cars, the reason you have to offset that down is because this will hit the cowling up top. Um, it's basically flat across there. Um, the Mustangs must come up. Uh, that's how they're able to do that. Cause this arm, as you can see in the factory pedal assembly is actually higher than than the uh than that so um anyway you have to do that um the brake switch still works uh, which is good so now i don't have to redo any of that stuff um and then i put this pin in the other direction i cut it off and i i put it i'm going to put it in that way so i'm going to weld that and then we can put our clutch switch in for that so that we can hit uh put our neutral safety switch uh wires in line with that so that you have to push that in to start it um and that's about it so i'm going to box this all in round this all off and, and weld it up so it doesn't look so jimmy rigged um but it should work um,
All right, guys, so that X, I did some, I did my measuring from the bottom hole. I did the bottom hole instead of the top because on the pedal assembly, uh, the hole is an oval up there and I wanted to do it from a round hole. So we measured from there up to there and then I just went over to there. So um, it's, it's a little bit crude, but it works and I should be able to, I just eyeballed real straight along this line to get um, basically where that intersected. Um, so that's the center line of our cable. Um, and then this thing is going to have to mount right there. Unfortunately, the firewall is not flat there. So we're gonna have to make it flat uh, in order to mount this thing properly. So we're gonna have to end up adding a piece. But before we do any of that, I'm going to drill a pilot hole on that and I'm gonna eyeball through that hole straight and make sure that it is going along the radius of that red rotating part that holds the cable. Um, we want that to be, when you're looking in it, looking right down the groove of that, of that there, I, I just call it a section of a pulley. That's what that thing essentially is. So um, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I got the pedals in there uh, and I'll show you what those look like. They turned out actually pretty good. Um, so it looks a little funny. I could cut this pad off and weld this pad on um, no matter what, even if I were to move this pad up and that pad down, uh, they're going to be offset a little bit. However, um, this pedal, I didn't, I don't want to move up because that fits perfectly. Um, as you can see right there, that's exactly where it goes. And if I move it up, it actually feels like, and this even feels a little bit like it starts going up too high towards the bottom of the throw. And so I don't actually want to move that up any farther. Um, it's perfect. I wouldn't want it down any lower and I don't really want it up any higher. So that's actually perfect. This pedal, the factory pedal, I've always felt is too high. So I have not yet decided if I'm going to move this, uh, put the other pad on this uh, pedal and move it down or if I'm just going to leave it um, if I'm going to leave it right where it's at I'm just going to leave the big pad on it um, if I'm going to move it down I'll, I'll go ahead and use the Mustang pad but I actually prefer my preference is not to have this little pedal on the brake pedal I'd rather have that pedal big I cut a round one instead um, so that it will, oops, turn it around this way just for visuals, so that it matches the radius. Um, and what I'm going to do is just make a round disc that will basically act as, it'll be part of the car, but that this will bolt to just perfectly. So um, I just so happen to have an extra reluctor, uh, or, uh, reluctor ring. Um, anyway, it's the pulse ring for the 4.6 and the hole in it is perfect. Um, so that's what we're gonna use. So we will, I'm going to just basically cut this out so that it's uh, perfectly round in the same shape. We'll pre-drill it for that bolt pattern, and then we will uh, weld it onto the car, and then this will just then bolt right to that thing. And it's nice and heavy so that we can drill and tap it um, so that we don't have to have, um, we don't have to have rivet nuts or anything like that through the firewall because this, this will uh, be able to house it. So basically that's just gonna go on there like that. Um, we will weld it up, and then uh, we will have a nice surface to mount that thing to. So it should look, end up looking pretty good. All right, guys, so last little thing, this spring is actually out of that other brake pedal clutch assembly. Um, I'm not actually sure where it was, but I found it on the ground and I am going to make it our return spring. So what it does, that tab goes right in that hole, which was already there. And then I'm going to cut a notch in there for that to sit in. And then, and get the pedal, pedal fell off here. There we go. So then when that's in there, That'll be our return spring. It's not too strong, not too soft, it's perfect. 
So that's gonna work out pretty good. So all I'm gonna do is just take and cut a little groove in there for it to fit in there. And then once the car, once it is installed, um, that should be good. The only thing we need to do now is make a stop so it can't keep coming back. Um, I don't want to rely on the little sensor we just put in there um, to hold it from coming all the way back. So what we're gonna do now is try to find a, a place that we can make a little stop um, so it doesn't ever come back. And probably what we'll do is just put, put it right in here. Um, where are we looking here? Yep, right, right in here because it'll always come up and then it'll go down and we'll just make a little physical stop there. So that'll be basically as high as it can ever go. Um, the, oops, fell off my little thing. Um, the brake pedal is gonna sit here and I want it to sit somewhat relative to that. So that's where we're going to, that's where we're going to uh, try to make our little stop. So it doesn't need to be much, but it just needs to be there. So first, first things first, we'll cut that little groove. Okay, so there it basically is. Um, so we have our stop there. I'm gonna rely on the floor to stop the pedal. Um, instead of making a stop, if that doesn't seem like it's um, adequate, then we'll have to add something later. But uh, I figure we could probably add something down to this bottom bolt hole, uh, a little, basically like an adjuster that'll hit that pad. But uh, this thing hits the floor, just this angle is just perfect. So it just hits the floor. So I'm hoping that that will be enough of a stop without overthrowing that uh, slave cylinder. Um, this side's all good. We got our spring. I don't have my bushings in there yet. I'm going to put this all paint it and then I'll put it all back together. It is really up to you if you want to paint it or not. The factory doesn't paint them. They're just raw steel uh, from the factory. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint mine just so it's nice and make sure that I don't have any sharp edges. Um, I'll probably run a little something over that spring so that I'm not reaching up there and scratching myself. And then uh, we need to come up with our shims for this guy. So this guy was goes on there like this. And I had it so that it was about right there, like maybe like one washer in from the pinhole. And then we have to make up all that space. So it did come with a bushing, um, just one. And I'm not sure if I have a weird one because it didn't seem to really work anywhere. Um, th that might work right there, just like that. It may be a little too far out. Uh, and then we just have to come up with a spacer for the inside one. Um, of course, I forgot to take this off when I primed and I got paint on it, but not that you can see it anyway. But no, I guess with that there, we're not gonna be winning no Pebble Beach contests uh, with this thing, but it, uh, in, in the end, it, it looks pretty good. All right, guys, ran down to the shop so I could show you the pedals, finish this video up, uh, installed. I didn't, uh, I didn't have footage of it being installed, which is kind of odd. Um, and this would be a good time to point out, I would like to uh, let you know that there's some videos in the description below, some links to some videos not on my channel, um, other people's videos for doing their uh, modifications. Um, and I would recommend, even if you like what I did and you wanna do it the same, I would still recommend watching those videos because um, they will make you a little more familiar with, with the whole setup and, and, and everything. And it won't be so intimidating because it's a little intimidating when you get it out. Um, uh, j just just so you're aware you get those pedals out and you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like oh man what do i do oh shoot because uh, there's kind of a lot of things to go over so um i am extremely happy with how these turned out i can't wait for my pads to get here so it finishes it up and obviously i need to put the bottom of my dash back together um the throttle pedal i did end up having to shave some of the adjuster housing down for the pulley for the clutch um it still will work though and i, I did leave the motor intact so this pedal will actually be able to come in and out uh which will be really cool for heel toe stuff technical driving 
doing stuff. That's going to be uh, a pretty cool feature to have, uh, being able to bring that thing in and out for that. So you can really uh, kind of dial in that heel toe thing. Um, I never liked how high up the pet got the uh, brake pedals were on this car from the factory. Um, they're disturbingly high. I don't know why they put them up so high, um, but it is what it is. Um, I got it the way I want it now. Um, but I just obviously keep that in mind if you're making yours, um, if you like the height of that pedal to, to make sure that you keep it the same. So I technically have a little bit more leverage on my brakes now with that pedal being a little lower. Um, so that will also change the feel of the brakes. Um, they may feel like overly powerful. I don't think I'm adjusted it enough to make it feel overly powerful, but they are going to be uh, technically a little more powerful than they were before as far as uh, human input. So I had hand surgery um, or wrist surgery. So the I'm gonna be a little slow um, for, for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be relying on people coming out to help me. Um, so I got this one done and then my neck, my other one gets done in four weeks. So I'm going to be like really, really slow then, uh, once I got two of them. So, um, anyway, don't tell my doctor I was supposed to be standing like this, uh, keeping it elevated, but it's just carpal tunnel stuff, but I've been dealing with it for 12 years. I let this one go way too long and hopefully I don't have permanent nerve damage and this will, uh, get better. It already feels better than it did when I went in, even though my hand has been cut up. Um, he had to cut it all the way open instead of just doing the scope stuff. I don't know. I don't know if my left hand is going to be the same or not. He may do that one with the scope because uh, it's not as bad as my right one was, but it's still pretty bad. Um, so anyway, uh, I got that. So I'll be slower, but uh, we're still going to be making content and hopefully we'll get some cool stuff out. Um, we're going to be finishing this car up. So we got the, the motor and tranny and everything's in now. Um, the video will be coming out soon. Uh, we'll do adjust. Uh, we'll focus mainly on the wiring and the transmission cross member and then finish, finishing the clutch stuff. So that'll be on the next episode. Um, then the next episode after that will be suspension stuff. Uh, we'll be doing rear suspension and front suspension. So we got coilovers for the front and then adjustables for the back. Um, an idea I stole from Pacific Northwest Car Mods. Um, I, and I'll, I will uh, put a link to, to that video in there as well. Or uh, maybe maybe just to his channel so you can see because he did a full build on one manual swap and everything too. Um, or I think they're still working on it actually. Um, so yeah, so it, it's pretty cool series. And then I got a link to Pierre's video uh, down there for his five speed stuff. Um, and then we'll, there'll be more links to his videos as well, because there's some pretty good information on those ones too. Um, so anyway, we'll see you again later this week. And uh, hopefully we'll get this car done here in not too long.